Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you another Q&A, and this one is answering all your questions that you post on the last Q&A video, and just a few just around YouTube in general. Now the first two questions are coming from my GTX um, 1060 Palette uh, video card review, and also the GTX 950 vs 750 Ti video. So first up for the um, comment on the 1060, um, Hi Dan, how do you safely transfer your data from an old PC to a new one when it's time to upgrade? Now I personally like to put all my files on a mechanical hard drive, and then when I do actually build the PC and install the OS on a new system, but I guess that's typically going to be on an SSD, I can just plug my hard drive in and, and, and really there's no real transferring of files, it's just plugging a hard drive in. And if you're wanting to transfer files, I would recommend just an SSD or a hard drive, but I personally always do keep my data, so um, things like Steam games, Origin games, and many of my original, say, raw files for video reviews I do, they're mainly on hard drives, so that's why I kind of transfer data. And next question, that was on the 950 vs 750 Ti video. Um, hi, so I'm wondering if both cards operate at less than 300 watts, then why do some websites suggest a 500 watt power supply for similar builds? Now, power supplies operate more efficiently between about 50 to 75 percent load so manufacturers are going to recommend a higher tier power supply plus a good thing with that is that you aren't really running your power supply at its knees so it will last a lot longer be a lot cooler and in general that that to me is kind of one of the main reasons i have an 850 watt power supply and even though graphic cards are very very efficient now and with me recently testing say a 1060 and a 1070 and me being today me testing an rx 470 they're all really really efficient and maximum total power draw from a, a full machine is like 300 watts now it's crazy but yeah the reason i have this is so that e even when i am running all on my benchmarks the pass by is really really cool and it's running in extremely efficiently this pass by with it being gold i think it runs about 90 percent efficiency between about 50 to 75 percent loader than say the lower end and the high end it, it drops about five percent efficiency efficiency so yeah that's kind of why they recommend higher watt power supplies. Plus, higher watt power supplies tend to have more PCI Express cables for graphic cards. That's another reason. Even though, say, the 1060 and the RX 470, they only require a single 6-pin. So next uh, comment is from Red Husker Gaming. Hey Dan, what's the difference between the MSI GTX 950 and others, in particular the MSI Gaming Edition one? Now, the difference between many, many graphic cards that have, say, the same chip, so say like the 950, the 960, or say like the 980 Ti, or 1060, or say the RX 480, 470, 460 from AMD, you get my point. The actual chip itself in the GPU, it well, the actual GPU chip on the graphic card is the same. The only thing that's really changing is the cooling solution, so stuff like the amount of um, heat pipes and, say, the amount of fans that you might get in a cooling solution, and also the... Um, overclocks that manufacturers put on the actual cards at the factory. So when you pay more for a graphic card, you might be getting a GPU that might be a little bit more overclocked, might have a better cooling solution, and might also might even be quieter while running. So there's a lot of things that uh, really go into picking a graphic card, but the more money you typically spend, it's going to be just better overall. So in terms of the efficiency, how it runs in terms of the noise levels, potential overclocks on top of the original overclocks, there's loads of things, but don't let that, don't let me put you off buying very, very cheap graphic cards, because at, at, at the low end, especially with, the, with say, the 950, you're going to get some uh, really, really good value by buying a really uh, cheap 950, for example. But yeah, that's the difference, it's mainly just the cooling solution. So next question, um, RX 480 or GTX 1060, assuming that cards have 8 and 6 gigabytes of RAM respectively. Um, I personally would recommend the 1060 port for, um, yeah, the 1060 for performance. Um, if you are on a budget and you really do want the, the say, best value for money, I would recommend the RX 480. That card is really good in terms of the actual um, price you're paying in terms of the performance. It, it, it's, it's a really, really good card. That's one of the main reasons that AMD brought out the RX 480. They wanted to just bring out a card that was just so good in terms of performance um, for the money you're paying. And in terms of, um, yeah, just in terms of price performance, it's an absolutely brilliant card. And NVIDIA really don't have a card that beats it in terms of price performance. Next question. Um, Hi, can you use a microfiber cloth to remove the thermal paste instead of toilet paper? Um... If you're removing thermal paste from a CPU, I would recommend you just use toilet paper or, or say kitchen tissue and just use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, just some water 
Um, yeah, using a microfiber cloth, it'll only ruin your cloth, quite frankly. And um, yeah, to me, there's no real need. I always use tissue paper when testing a lot of sleep on my on my rig. And if if you watched a few, I always use tissue paper. It's nice and easy. And if you know, once it's got a little bit mucky, bin it, get some more. That's it, genius. Um, so that's it for the questions today. I've kind of like gone through them really, really quickly. I've been recording for about five minutes fifty. It's gonna be one of the quickest Q and A's. Uh, I did have about three, four more questions, but I uploaded them to Google Photos and the, they aren't there, so no idea. Um, yeah. So I've just found another question. This one's this one's from Dennis S. Uh, the question was, "What case is that? I want an open air." Case solution. Now this test bench I'm currently using is the Dimus Tech Mini V1. So I'm, I'm assuming the will make a V2 pretty soon. But yeah, it's Dimus Tech test bench. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking test benches, and to be honest, I do a really good job at making them. It's very, very good construction. Actually, if I just uh, give it a good old knock on sec, it's just really, really solid, really thick steel, whatever it is. I have no idea, but it's. Just a very, very good test bench. I like it. Um, there's a few little things that I would like to see Dimus Tech change in the future, but overall, a very, very good test bench. And um, yeah, I like it. This bracket kind of annoys me sometimes. The fact that it slides, I've really, really don't know why it slides, but there will be a review of that very, very soon on the channel. And yeah, let's roll that outro that I was going to do before I found the um, other question. So... If you guys have any, any more questions or want your questions to be featured in the next Q&A, do post them down in the comment section. I tend to do get back to them um, just as soon as you guys type them. I do really get back to loads of comments here on YouTube and with my channel being a little bit bigger now. It's a little bit of a struggle, but I do like really engaging with you guys that do watch the content on a regular basis. Well, I say regular basis. There's only a video about every three, four days. Um, but yeah, if you've got a question, post it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And if, if you know, you do leave it in the bottom of the Q&A video, I will, well, chances are, we'll read it out in the next Q&A, which will be in about three, four weeks. So thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And also at the end, I do also include social media links on uh, Facebook and Twitter. So if you guys that do watch these Q&As and really do kind of, um, I don't know, or like the channel, um, yeah, go feel free to follow me and uh, like the good old Facebook page if you want to keep up to date of some of the products I'm testing and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.